Rutgers Arts Artist Showcase. I am your host, Katori Walker, and I am here with a very special guest, mm -hmm. the unremarkable Pedro Fernandez from Queens. Queens yes. All right, yeah. all right. He is the youngest of 12 kids, and his father was an architect and mom designed clothing. His artwork is inspired by how he sees life and the joy it brings. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Coming all the way from Atlanta because you moved away from us. Yeah, yeah. Hot Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Trying to spread the joy, you know? Yeah, but you're no stranger to Yonkers. No, Before no. you moved to Atlanta, um, you were all over Yonkers. You were in your art scene. Yeah. Um, Yonkers basically adopted you yeah. as one of its very own. Appreciate it. So it's not a surprise that you are your art is in the 13th annual Yonkers Art Show Amen. here that is closing. Um, and you're here with us and joining me in this art space. And by the way, Pedro is a very good friend of ours. So, let's just jump right in. Okay. Yes. Uh, tell us about your philosophy and your beliefs when it comes to your art. I believe, um, my, since I like to bring joy to people just by being who I am and, and saying things and, you know, encouraging it and um, motivating, I feel that it's an extension of me when I put it on, on a canvas or on a piece of paper or on a wall or on, a, on clothing. And I feel like they'll take a part of me and, and it'll be with you always. And, and the God in me will always be by you, by your side, to inspire you and to keep you um, with hope and faith and love in your heart each and every time. You know, you know and it is so true because Pedro, is, you know, if you don't mind me saying, he no, sends sorry. me like texts of inspiration hey, hey, every morning. day. I'm glad to be a part of his art family. He's yeah. always been encouraging. And so it's, this is not just something that you do, but it's your life. And mm. you share that with everyone. And when I get the text about something about my day or to, you know, have belief or encouragement, it really makes me feel good. And that's yeah. what really you all about. You're yeah. all about. You encompass, encompass all of that. Your IG page says, pure energy, transmitting energetic radiance, yeah. bringing out skillful knowledge to serve you. What does serving the community, serving people look and feel like to you? It feels, if um, first and foremost, um, both acronyms that she just finished reading is my name and um, my artist name. So say your artist name. Um, my artist name is Bosk, B-O-S-K-T-S-U, bringing out school for knowledge to serve you. Peter, pure energy, transmitting energetic radiance. I feel like, um, well, well we, you know that we're all energy, right? So we all vibrate. So if you um, vibrate good positive energy to, to people around you, you should be receiving the same. And if you don't, you know, at least you plant a seed on those people that do need it, because we all need it. You know, at the end of the day, we're all human beings and we're just pure energy with inside. You know, we're just, you know, we're spiritual um, beings encountering a human form. So I feel like what I do is, um, my purpose since I was young, I knew that I, I was here placed on this planet, or I came to this um, avatar to be that light to others who need um, that, 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 um, that extra um, push each and every day. And that's what I do when I reach out to my friend Katori here and others. You know, we feed off of each other, you know what I mean? Right. When I see other people's acclamations and, and what they do and their achievements, it helps me as well. So we feed off of each other. Um, why not give out flowers when we're here now, present in the in, in, in live, then then wait until somebody passes away with a yellow, you know? Yes, <laughs> you know, yes. Right? We I feel yeah. the same way. Yeah. We we feel the same way. Yeah, now, seriously. I was so excited to receive something really beautiful before I show it. Um, a piece of Pedro's artwork. Um, much success and blessings to always. To, it was supposed to be to you always. I forgot <laughs> to you, right? Oh, wow. I just realized Live, that. love, enjoy. No, live, love, Lo and laugh. Okay. Sorry. Live, love, and laugh, and enjoy it. Right. Right. He has such beautiful handwriting. In fact, I'm going to show the back first, right. and that's why you'll see why I'm reading it here. Romans 12:12 12, 12, GBU, um, and then his tag right here. It's just really beautiful. Even his message to me for this gift that he's giving me is just beautiful. It's like graffiti style. Right. Awesome. And so, can you tell me before I show them what you created? What were you thinking? 
Well, I was thinking about her. I was thinking about Uncle Tori because um, she's like, you know, very supportive ever since I met her, her and Evan. I mean, they're, they're not separate, they're one, one, one whole entity. And I felt like, you know, she always had that sisterly love with me and always supported me and always had time to hear me out when I actually need somebody to listen to me. So I, out of appreciation, I, 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 I drew this picture for her, her name. And I know because I had drawn one earlier, she was like, where's mine? now, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just teasing. But you know, it was coming and, and it came at the right time. And it's funny because for some reason, I always draw from the subconscious. This ain't a subconscious drawing. It's a comp it, it, it's actually realism. But the fact that I knew the colors that she enjoyed without her telling me right, is the beauty of how we connect as two human beings, two spirit that connect together. And when I do this real quick, when I do this is because I know not just women, but like people, like when you draw something to draw something for them, you always have to have a message. The drawing has to have a message. So I feel when they move this painting around, they'll always have me speaking to them or the God in me speaking to them to encourage them to let them know you know what it ain't that bad you know it's yes. okay it's okay thank you I love this and I yeah, appreciate it and now let me yeah. just show you yeah Ta -da. Amen. Ta -da. <laughs> It says Katori. Yeah, it says Katori. I love it. it. It's like it's like almost like a gift. The way I did the background, I did the stripes in the background. But it's funny because she said she liked the candy cane. Yes. Yeah, that was so yes. cool. Like we connected with that part. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And I did it like it was on the sidewalk, on a wall, mm -hmm. and you know, and you know, just bringing you know that light to her. You know what I'm saying? So tell us. Um, and this is this one example. Right. But tell us what type of art style or styles that best describe your work. Well, most people know me for my street art, you know, for graph and you know, stuff like that. I'm very good with lettering and stuff. I'm very, I'm, uh, I, not to pat myself on the shoulder, I've been um, working on the past four or five years ever since I, I got connected with the Yonkers community on my color schemes. Um, and then like when I met them and I started doing the gallery work, I started doing the, the abstract. So I'm in between abstract and street lettering. You know, okay. I can do realism. I just choose not to. You know what I mean? I, I, I my family does that. You know, my it's in our family to draw, like my nieces and nephews. So I want to be different, and they really enjoy the fact that I do something they they, they don't do. You know what I mean? Just try to be unique and stuff like that. And um. Um, well, if your art could dance off the canvas, okay, or your murals can jump <laughs> off the wall, uh, what type of music would it be? Would be flowing? Would be flowing and grooving. What, you know. Oh, what kind of music? Yeah. Um, like freestyle music. I like freestyle a lot. I like um, freestyle is like '80s music about love. It got that Afro, you know beat to it, you know, like everything else does, you know what I'm saying? It's very up-tempo, very energetic, like, I'm like the Energizer battery, you know, like, my, my drawings will keep on moving and moving yes. and moving. Yes, like, yes. It's hard for me, it's hard for you to say, yo, it's time to go. <laughs> yes, and so we're going to get into, like, your, your technique. I mean, right. it, it seems like your artwork just flows off the um, off the cam canvas. And, and, right. and also, it's very detailed. Uh, so my first, my next question is, before I even get into that, do you believe that words have power? Oh, definitely they do. They definitely do. You know, it's a form of language, it's a form of vibration. In the beginning, it was God, right? So it was that, and God spoke, right? So that's where everything comes from. But yeah, no, words have a lot of um, power. And we have names, and every name that we, that, that we chose, that, that was given to us, you know, it has a meaning to it, and it has power. And, and you know. Because know. you use a lot of words, you're very powerful. Yeah. And, and when you, no, you're very powerful when you express yourself yeah. and, and your thoughts and your philosophy and your beliefs so right. that makes total sense now how long can you focus on a piece at a time because your work is very detailed I mean you do the dots you do all different okay. types of things like how long would like an average piece take for you to do yeah to do all right so you see this one I just did one for her this was done I did one I got to the point where I could do two of these at the same time Wow. It's if I do one, when the beginning, it used to take me like five to six hours to do it. Because mm -hmm. I take my time. Mm -hmm. I'm not there literally six hours, but I don't take breaks. 
I'm very, you know what people say, and not to pat myself on the shoulder, I, 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 I work on it hard. I'm very neat. I like to, yes. I'm clean. He's neat and clean. clean. So then I, 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 see, if I'm giving you a piece of me, I want to give you the best of me. And I want you to look, I don't want you to like critique. I mean, I don't mind if you critique it, it's fine, but I try not to make any mistakes. So most pieces, depending on, 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 the, on, size, on the size, like yeah. these, these, t you know what's funny? These actually take me longer than when I do canvas work. Canvas work for some reason I finish it faster. <laughs> wow. Because this is more um I'm thinking of the person so it's more in detail so it's is 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 actually saying something. When I do abstract, remember is I drew I draw from the inside out, so like draw from chi. So whatever energy I have at that moment and I express it onto a canvas, it might be like a half an hour, three hours, two hours. But there's times when I do canvases that take me a little longer. I try not to take two or three days. I don't I don't I'm sorry, um all Kudos to other people that take like three weeks, three months, whatever. I do myself in one day. Okay, all like, right. You know, You're done. Yes. Yeah, so I feel like if you don't do it right there, like you lose some of the, of the energy, like you cut it off. Okay. You get what I'm trying to say? Okay. okay. So I feel like I have to get everything that I feel right now. But I see that I can relate because when I draw my Katori kids, I feel yeah. like I'm birthing a baby. And right. Like and get then, all yeah. Out. yeah, let it all out. Yeah, let it all out. What you tools know? do you create with, and do you have a favorite? Um, I use oil, um, oil paint, I do spray paint, and I use acrylic. I use um, watercolor pencils, um, um, markers, and stuff like that. I use flares. Um, I can actually. I can use other stuff too, but the most that I like is um, the oil paint, acrylic, and the spray paint. I enjoy that the most, the most, the most. Yeah, okay. really. And do you think your emotions dictate how you create? Oh, definitely, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because you know, art is a form of therapy. Oh, we all know that, right? Art is a form of therapy. So what happens is, um, um, I thank God that um, I was I was born into a family that was artistic. So I felt like, even though in the good and the bad, as long as I'm doing art, things are, are never really accumulated inside of me, like frustration and anger. Mm -hmm. Like I don't believe in a bad day. I don't get bored. You know, like I feel like. You know, art is, is what keeps me there and is what um, um, keeps this train going. And yeah, no, no, you, no. <laughs> See, my, I owe her some extra money now. I got my psychiatrist over here now, you know what I'm saying? If you had $2 million, right, to create something um, artistically, what would it be? $2 million. To $2 million. Man. And it has to be with art. $2 million worth of. of to create something with two million dollars? Yeah, what would you create? I buy houses for people that don't have no home with the okay. two million dollars. Okay. I'll create. Okay. I'll create. You happiness. create happiness that way. You create right space because two million dollars. Right, exactly. Okay. You give me See, five hours. Not cool. Yeah, I create. <laughs> I, I can give, give me five, five dollars. dollars. I mean, you, do you can break that? down the two million. We can look at something for us. You know what I'm saying, girl? For me, you and Evan, everybody else, and, and, and Louisa too. And our friend right now. Yes, you know I always just give it. No, but for out. two million dollars, you know what's funny? I'll give it to you real quick, right? My art is free. All you're doing is paying for my space, to, mm -hmm. for me to have space in your life. That's what you're mm -hmm. doing. Because remember, the art is free. It comes from inside. But to actually, you know, what you're actually paying for is to, for me to have space in your life. That's what you're doing. But $2 million, I, I, nah, I would spend it on something charitable. You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, okay. To see yeah. his heart? See his heart? Yeah, I wouldn't. Um, that's too much. Okay. Yeah. What makes you, what do you think mm -hmm. um, makes you wake up in the morning yearning to create? Ooh, that's a good one. Journey to create. Just being the fact that I'm alive, that I'm here, that um, each day this, even if even if somebody doesn't buy something from you, you're being productive, maybe something in the future, or I'm planting a seed for, for, for somebody, I'm manifesting something for somebody that might be yearning for something, and then when the situation presents itself, um, this piece of artwork will be there. Like, I... Me being around people, that's all I need to mo motivate. I don't need much to get ideas. Like I can, I can sit here and draw you something right now. Like you know, you know, it's everything from inside. You know what I'm saying? That 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 happy bliss that we're supposed to have, that joy we're supposed to have. You know what I mean? Now, tell us when it comes to your art, like. 
is it something that you dream of? Like, how do you get inspiration? Like, how do you know what your next piece is going to be? Or do you just sit down with something blank and just go with the flow? I mean, I know sometimes you get, I'm sure, commissioned, but you know, what is that process for you when you're creating your work? Most of the time, it's free freestyle, like right off the top of the head, you know, right from that moment. Like, if 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 you were to ask me to do something for you, then it'll be like a recollection of what me and you shared in the years we've known each other. Okay. That's that's what's gonna happen. My subconscious mind will 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 let, unleash everything that every good moment that we join um, we enjoyed together, and it'll come out. Something you told me about you, your relationship with Evan or your family or your grandma, Nana, rest in peace. You know we know it's always with us. The kitty cat, anything that we shared moments with. For some reason, the drawing, in my abstract drawing, it'll come out. Okay. You know what I mean? That's, that's how most of the times my drawings come out. Very cool. You know, I love all your work. Thank you. Um, there's Thank one, you. though, I want to talk about, right. which is Probe 4. It is purple and black, and it looks like a train to me, it's like it's doing the, the boogie dance. Train, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about that piece and your inspiration for it. That That's actually, you know what's crazy about that painting? I was just talking to my little brother. He's not actually my little brother, but I call him my little brother. He's, he's around the same age as I am. But um, we were talking, and he was enjoying one of my other paintings, and it was a new series that I started because I was... I was um, I was inspired by um, Louisa Batista, you know, Louisa Vives, right? That's my homegirl, our homegirl. And she said, why don't you do a series of paintings because you never know what's going to lead up to when somebody asks you for a series. So what I was doing that, when I did that one, it, it inspired my, um, I actually wrote my name. I don't tell people this, I'm telling you the secret. Oh, it's my name upside down. What? Yeah. It's my oh, artist name upside. It. It's my artist name upside down. So what happened was, for some reason, when I when I when I looked at it, because remember when I when I do abstract work, even though it's, it's it's based on my name, I'm making it look like an abstract, right? What happens is every four or every cardinal on space um, or direction, you see something different. So when I put it upside down, my little brother's name, after we had just got off the phone, appeared in that drawing. Wow. And that's crazy. Don't that see how crazy. it happens. Yeah, right? So it's just a form of me um, expressing how, how to um, design my name. Okay. Okay. All righty then. All right. Now, Pardon. tell us about, well, one more thing. All right. What can't you live without? Uh, what, what can I live without? And what can't you? You just can't live without it. My art supplies. <laughs> Yes, my, yes, my, yes. My, 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 my chance. Well, you know what? I, I could probably live without it because I'd still be able to express myself. But I, yeah, like. Yeah, art supplies. Yeah, yes. if, if I. And my art is everything. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Me, you know, like, because I don't know if you noticed, well, we've been here for like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I, I want to write a book and it's be called um, Can I Speak? I have a tendency of people listen to me more when I draw than when I talk. So. Yeah. So me expressing myself when I draw is, uh, is major, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. art, art is healing for you. Yeah, oh, very much. Right? Yeah. It's, it's a very big, healing it's for you. It's a very big part of me, yeah. Yeah. It's a strong um, part of who I am and, and, and the person that I am, that I become. I, I became that artist named Bosk, you know what I'm saying, that bringing out that skillful knowledge, you know what I'm saying, bringing mm. out something to bring joy to people, you know. And it brings joy to you. All the time. Yeah. yeah, all the time. Yeah. You know, even when people don't pay me, and I, I used to give my art away all the time, and, and I took to, it took me to like was forty something years old to start selling my work. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm very happy and proud of you because mm -hmm. you're so worthy of it's being sold. Yeah. You know, and yeah. people want it. People want yeah. your work. So, what is your social media handle so people? So, know uh, to are. connect with me, um, why W H Y the number five T S U, and, um, and that's on Instagram. And that's about it. And then um, you have a art, website, right? Yeah, my website is artworksgallery.com, and the the works is not spelled with an S; it's spelled with a Z. Okay. So it's a artworks a r t w o w o r k z gallery g a l l e r i s. 
galleries. Let me go to Z. Okay. Yeah. And so you have you have murals here in New York and yeah. um, so where if somebody in Brooklyn in Brooklyn. Yeah. So if somebody wanted to see your murals, where where is that particular one that you've been talking to me a lot about? Well there was in there's the one in, in Horsley. I did I did one in Horsley and, and Broadway in Brooklyn by Williamsburg. And I'm doing one the wall that I, I've been managing for close to nine years now is in Corona Queens on 110th and 37th Avenue. It's a wall that I use that my wife inspired me to say instead of yes. glorifying yourself glor um, um, glorify the Lord and show how grand he's been in your life and how the God in me has changed and I become a better person of who I am to give back to the community. It's something that I don't charge the lady for nothing. She is, I just tell her to give me permission to, to shed light to the community. Yeah. And the piece we're doing right now is for the community. It's called Hope um, hope, love and faith. Yes. So when people walk by, they read that. See this instead of seeing an advertisement of beers, the liquor or something. Crazy, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we always gotta okay. give back. You always gotta yeah. give back. Uh, I always think that. And, and you're always giving back. Yeah. So I, I, I want to thank you for that. And thank you. we're gonna now take a look at the piece that you had here for Yonkers Arts Weekend. All right, cool. That's a, that's a, that's one of my best pieces too. Um, All right. So what is the title of this piece? And this tell us about it. It's it's actually named after my my artist name, and it's a different acronym. It's called Behold Our Savior Knows. Mm. And. And what medium did you use? Oil paint. All right, this is all, all paint. Oil paint. How long did it take you to do this piece? Uh, uh, I shouldn't be telling you, but I'll tell you anyway. It like three and a half hours, four, four hours. And the reason why I say that because he does this amazing work. Sometimes he takes hours and hours, and yeah. sometimes he does it really like quickly. This, but this it is, looks like he took forever on yeah, this because nah. it's so detailed. It's the color. So how did you come up with the colors? Well, color schemes are a major part of my, my artwork. Um, so so a lot of them, I, I refer my color schemes to like football helmets, you know, action figures, you know, stuff like that, you know, comic book figures, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So this one got like the Incredible Hulk look like, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, earthy like. Yes. You know? And then why, because this is the theme as well, a lot of your canvases are either turned like this or, you know, in a different way, not mm. just flat, straight. Mm. Um, so what is the purpose and the meaning with turning your canvases on this in a diamond side? It's diamond like shape. a diamond, because like, I feel like my work is like a diamond, like a diamond piece. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I feel like um, it, it, why be why be so cliche? You know what I'm saying? I want to be different from everybody else. So you are so different. Yeah. Yes, so I'm trying to make it look. I'm trying to just give it a different touch to it because it's so conventional mm -hmm. to look like. You know, as long as it's a perfect square, it can be a diamond. And the fact that it's like that. I draw in a diamond shape. So like how Rembrandt, you know, how Rembrandt draws from the sides, I draw from diamond shape. Oh, really? That's, that's what I, yeah, I got, I got that from, not from him, but like I think like I that. I didn't know that you did that. Yeah. So is this a, like a, I noticed like, it seems like there's like a language happening here. Yeah, a lot of people say it's indigenous. It looks very like, you know, like aztec -ing or Mayan. Um, I actually look, so I started right here, right? That's where you started? Yeah. Okay. And I started with the letter S, and I just worked all the way around it. Oh, that's an S. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's an S, but you see how it's slanted? It's like it's upside down, like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it was a snake, like two snakes. It, could be, that, it, it like. could be that, too. You know what I'm saying? I just, from here, it just seems like this is like a whole language. It is. It, like. it is. Yeah, it is. I love it. I degree. love how everything connects, but yet everything flows. You have a lot of movement in your art. Yeah. Well. I, I try to, I, I, um, real quick, I'm sorry. Yeah. So I try to give it balance. So you see how I go from north to south? Yeah. So I put the purple in the middle. So it actually, see how the purple and the green go together in the middle? That's mm -hmm. where it evolves, right? So I, I got to make sure it has a balance between both um, the, the four corners. Yeah, and, and you do and, that, uh, that you do that really good. I mean, that is skill. Right, thank you. It really no, is. I, I, it's just, I learned that from my, uh, my mentor, you know, rest in peace, you know, phase two, you can look him up on, you know, Google. He always said, make sure your, your pieces have um, balance. Everything in life is balanced. God, God does everything in order, everything is balanced. So it has to have a good balance. So when you psychologically look at it, you, like, you, like, you don't want to see too much purple, and you don't want to see too much green, you want to have a nice little gum. So when you receive it, it's very refreshing and it's easy to digest and to, and to um, register to when you look 
look at it. I learned something new. Yeah. And look at the fashion. Yeah, you, the this shirt. is your design as yeah. well. This the t-shirt. Yeah, thank you, mommy. Yes, yeah. Promo, yes. promo. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, this is one of my best paintings. It was in a, in a, in a, in a, in a presentation in a gallery in Woolworks in the Bronx in 2017. So um, I had a friend do the t-shirt for me, and now I'm going to start doing t-shirts myself when I go back to Atlanta. Yeah, yes. this is a black and white. Well, real quick, right? I have to say this real quick. Get this real quick, right? Yes. If you look at it right here, right? Can you see that? Can you see the guy, the face? Oh, I see it. The sideburn? Yes, I see it. That's cool. So, right? See how it's called our behavior, our savior knows? So, this is me and this is my savior within me. This is, this is, this is everything inside of me. Coming Come out. out. Coming yes, out. I see that because this is the mouth. Right. It's coming right. through and, and look, coming out. And you see the other two eyes. See how he's, he's see coming upward? See how it looks like a body look like this, like the rib cage? Yeah. So he's coming out of me like that. You know what I mean? And this I is just thoughts. See, this is what you get to learn <laughs> when you come yeah. to Yonkers Arts Yonkers Artist Art, yeah. Showcase, um, because I wouldn't have even known that that was yeah, there. So most people don't it's see that. It's really cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we all we all have something in us. Remember, I'm not the only one. We all create together. We are a creation, and we we are creators, and we can we could create happiness and joy for everybody to, to enjoy. Well, yeah. Pedro. Thank you so much Thank you. for being our guest. <laughs> wax <laughs> on, wax off. Right? <laughs> this is my it's always a joy. Thank you, mommy. This is my homegirl right here. Mm. I love it. This is my big sister right here. You know what I'm saying? She can be pop out. <laughs> But thank you, John Kassar, for having me, and thank you for this interview, and thank you for always giving me the opportunity and, and embrace me as a family member to your community. I'm Katori Walker for Yonkers Arts Artist Showcase. Remember to always honor the artists within you. Amen. This project is made possible with funds from the Restart the Arts, a re-grant program of Arts Westchester with support from the Office of the Governor, the New York State Legislator, and the New York State Council on the Arts.